This regenerating force has an immediate effect which can be seen with the naked eye. There are vast stretches of brown seaweed running hundreds of miles along the coast. Here, animal and vegetable life flourishes, first in the form of microscopic algae, and later the zooplankton that feed on them. Like veritable jungles, the seaweed provides shelter to millions of creatures hoping to remain unnoticed among the dense vegetation. Kelp forests like this one contain so many different species that their variety of wildlife can be up to 20 times greater than in the warm waters of tropical seas. This crab has cultivated its own garden above its head in order to remain unnoticed, but the effect is very different when it is time to move house. The brown seaweed is fixed onto the substratum by means of a strong claw-like grip the only function of which is to serve as an anchor against the strength of the storms and currents. They do not absorb anything, nor are they in any other way similar to the roots of more developed plants. These provide an incredibly strong hold, a firm base for the rest of the plant whose biological obligation is to float and reach up to the light at the surface. Vertebrates that share the rocks with them also know that here you have to cling on hard if you don't want to be swept off. This is a world of washed out colors and soft forms. The cloudy water and the strong undertow mean the polyps here do not develop the hard forms nor the brightly colored designs of tropical coral reefs. They try to catch their quarter of plankton here where food passes in front of everyone, and all you have to do is take it. <laughs> 